from New York, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Week. Now, here's John Furrier. Hello everyone, I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. We are here for exclusive coverage of Blockchain Week in New York with theCUBE's continuing coverage of what's going on in crypto, blockchain, and decentralized applications. We're here at the Block Crypto House special event. We're here with Matt Rozak, who's the co-founder of Block, and we're here with Paul Sloyan, who's the co-founder of Job.com, with some news. You guys got a pre-sale. I want to get into the details. Thanks for joining. What do you guys do? First, take a minute to explain what Job.com is. Sure. So we're decentralizing the recruitment platform. So in our world, we have uh, three parties. We have a job seeker, we have a recruiter, and we have uh, an end hirer. What we're doing basically is we are removing the recruiter. We're putting, we're putting the value back to the job seeker, who's the person who does the work. So the candidate, the job seeker, looks for a job. We peer-to-peer -peer them with the direct client who's looking to hire. Instead of charging these huge fees that recruiter companies can't charge, like 20, 25%, we charge the client 6%. And out of our 6%, we kick back 83% of that value to the job seeker. So there's a racket going on. Ever since anyone that's raised a company knows that recruiting is one of the things they can write a big fat check. Well, it's and a six hundred thirty-eight billion dollar industry globally. It's, it's a nice racket, as I said. So you guys are disrupting using blockchain. So taking the middleman out of it, Correct. and really making the community collective intelligence of the seeker and job hirers together. Yep. That's the secret sauce. That's the secret sauce. We have a very clever matching technology, which means that the shortlist is provided by technology. We have some nice user flows that help the user actually be nurtured through the process and the job seeker gets a reward for the effort. Matt, you're an advisor to this company. What did you like about this company? What got your interest? Was it the nature of the, of the team, the disruption? What was the catalyst for the uh, advisory? Yeah, I'm honored to be an advisor uh, to job.com and uh, it always starts with the team, right? Yeah, we, we talk about uh, uh, these new tech railroads, these new networks, but it always comes down to the core team and uh, I think what Paul and uh, and his team are, are putting together is fantastic and, and you see all these use cases for financial services or real estate, but jobs uh, and recruiting, human capital management is a massive industry that has a lot of middleman friction, a lot of middleman cost, and uh, uh, blockchain and, and, and finding that uh, connective tissue between the job seeker and, uh, uh, and the jobs is, is like made, uh, a marriage made in heaven in this case. So uh, I think they've got the right compass, uh, got great funding, and uh, a great future. It's certainly a great testament having you as an advisor. You had a great compass too. You got in crypto early. You can just smell it and these disruption opportunities, right? Is this one of those cases? Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, there's, there's not a lot of competition in the space. It doesn't mean there won't uh, be more, but I think, um, uh, what's what's interesting in, in, in blockchain is building these networks early uh, gives you an advantage, and, and so I think a lot of the uh, the, the road that's going to be paved by Job.com will help uh, uh, the uh, the job seekers and uh, employers uh, find utility in this new uh, this new service. I like the word that you use, networks. You didn't say audience. It's a different world now. Yeah. It's not audience and and people, uniques, it's networks. Yeah, That's yeah. the key to success. And, and networks are powerful. When I, when I think of uh, blockchains, I don't think of blockchains, I think of networks, I think of digital cooperatives. You know, when you contribute something, in this case, job seekers will contribute, you know, their, their CVs, if you will, and, uh, and, and hopefully find utility in, on this platform for, uh, to find jobs. And uh, as a, you know, uh, hiring uh, people in the tech field, uh, it's a very expensive endeavor. Uh, hiring people in the blockchain field is like uh, almost impossible. It's a very high high bar and very expensive. Uh, and so, if you find a platform that could uh, provide this service utility, uh, I think it's going to uh, be. And the efficiency uh, is not fantastic. there either. I mean, you talk about the cost, but there's also an efficiency angle on all yeah. this. The flywheel here is the network effect, the referrals. So the no middleman there, it's no distortion. Yeah, and, and I think you know uh, from this network, you could build other concentric circles of services on top of this. If you get this part right, uh, you, could, you could pave into other areas of human capital management. So I think the future is very bright. Paul, talk about the round that you just did. So you got news that's either private, Pre-sale, was that accredited only? Just talk about some of the details. People really are interested. This is funding uh, landscape is super robust. Sure. And they want to hear the best practice. How'd you, how'd you do it? What was the format? Share. Sure, so we're, um, we're a company based out in Singapore, although we have an entity across the UK, the UK and the US. Um, we've taken a strategic view on who we've partnered. Uh, we've partnered a company called Chainrock that have helped us bring uh, the capital for our pre-private sale. Uh, private sale is now open. Um, we are all about working with the right partners. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to expand the business globally very quickly, about execution, about making sure that we get a, a land grab, 
and, and take this to the masses. Did you use your job.com platform to get the uh, matching investors? Yeah, to, we did, yeah. Did they take yeah. a fee? Yeah, no, I'm sure did, they yeah. did. No. We, gave, we, gave, we gave them the feedback. <laughs> Give the feedback. All right, talk about the, um, the, the pre-sale dynamic because uh, some people are talking about pre-pre's. I mean, there's all kinds of new nomenclatures. This is the first this tranche, the, this the, first this round the first round of outside money. Um, how big is the team? Take a minute and talk about the, the staff, what your plans are. Sure. Okay. So currently we have 38 staff. We have four offices, three in the US, uh, one in Singapore. Mm -hmm. um, we are, we'll launch the product across the US first of all, because we already have 60 million resumes across the, U the US. In the UK, we have 7 million resumes. Um, and we were going across Asia in the next 12 months. So you didn't wake up one day and say, hey, I'm just going to disrupt the job industry. You had some pre-existing experience. Sure. Was there an itch you were scratching? You were, were you frustrated? Like, man, I can take this to the next level. How did you go from industry expertise to crossing over saying, damn, I'm going to use this disruptive technology and I'm going to drive this straight down sure. to the world? So basically, we started off uh, seven years ago. Um, the business is seven years old. Um, we built a matching technology. And the idea was basically to take search away from job seekers. Because when you search for a job, you're presented with so much information back to you that you don't actually get what you're looking for. But by matching, you can upload your resume and our technology will read that resume, read a job, and allocate the relevant person to the relevant job. Matt, I want to talk about the network effect again because I think this is super important. He brought up the notion of referrals, basically. The best hires come from the network. The flywheel of the network is the contributions that people have. So when you have efficiency in the referrals, this network effect is super important. You mentioned that earlier. The infrastructure of this new internet is not based upon the old DNS search. I mean, this is what we're talking about search engines. Yeah. It's so old, right? I mean, do people still use, but it's not effective. The infrastructure is changing. How are you looking at comp helping companies look at this new infrastructure saying, hey, you can't measure network effect? Yeah, I think you hit on a really important part, uh, the uh, the referrals, right? These are like the influencers in the network that the more positive referrals they make, the more uh, uh, influential and uh, the, the more ec economic activity they could achieve. And, and there's a reason why Microsoft bought, bought LinkedIn, right? There's a, an incredible amount of data in there. Uh, but when Microsoft bought LinkedIn, I don't, I, I don't know if you got a, a paycheck for that. I, I, I didn't. Uh, but if 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 something good happens, they in a developer program. It's the worst. Yeah, no, it's it's you know it's not open source. So you, you can't innovate on it. Uh, but if you have uh, a platform like Job.com, then you can innovate on that. A, B, uh, you share in the, uh, uh, the the proceeds of that network building, and you if you contribute, then you get back. So, again, going back to the definition of this uh, digital cooperative for job seekers and uh, and employers, uh, it makes a ton of sense. How's the token economics work on this? Token workers, uh, tokens go to the work of the referrals or the job seeker. How does the economics work? What's the transfer of the token piece here? I think you should cover that one. Sure. So we have basically, um, uh, I mean, in the, in, the, in the wonderful blue sky thinking, clients will come to us and buy job tokens immediately from day one, but that's not going to happen. We're going to have, there's a learning curve here to, to make people start working with us. So we will be charging clients for it, convert them to job tokens, and the job seeker will, will get a job token. But the job seeker actually earns job tokens on the entire journey. For us, it's about rewarding every step of the job seeking way. So, so engagement with engagement. the platform. So, so you, if you upload your resume, you'll get some job tokens. If you go for an interview, you're the person taking time off of work, using up your holiday, putting gas in your car to go to an interview. They Referrals have. get tokens for that too, right? Referrals get tokens as well. Is there a reputation system in this? There will be, yeah, there will be. But the, the referral tokens work on the basis of um, you can earn more as a reward if you refer more people to the platform. Well, congratulations and congratulations on the news. Uh, what's the next round? I'm sure it's oversubscribed. Uh, share, I mean, you probably can't share, but share a little, little yeah, bit of so color the, the, commentary. The private round is, and you're right, the private round, people are queuing up at the door, being quite frank, and we, we're just handpicking who we want to work with by the assistance of, of Matt and the team. Um, but yeah, it's exciting times. All right, good job. We're here at Block Party at the event at the Crypto House for Blockchain Week in New York. I'm John Furrier. Thanks for watching.